good morning and welcome to another episode of Intuitive Insights. Today, my guest is the darling Sue Shapiro, who has turned her natural gift into something she calls toe reading. I cannot wait to hear about this modality. Sue, how are you today? Thank you. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I'm looking, <laughs> looking forward to talking about this with you. Oh, that's wonderful. I know when I told you when I saw your pictures, I was like, I can just feel her energy. <laughs> this is just, I have to know about this. <laughs> How did you get started doing toe readings? Well, um, I was taking a, a program through a local school here that's a healing arts school. And part of that program, part of their core course was toe reading. And honestly, I don't know if I ever really thought about it as being something that I would do. My husband actually is real interested in reflexology and that's how I found the school. He was looking for a place to do reflexology and he ended up not doing it. But when he saw that I had that class in my mm -hmm. curriculum, he's like, oh, I wanna take that class too. So he kind of did alongside of me without you know, getting the certificate. But when I first learned about it and we had to post a picture of our feet out on the, the school, uh, you know, the little uh, classroom site that we had, I was really resistant to that because I just, I used to say I didn't like my feet. I didn't wow. like how they looked. And now, of course, I understand my toes. I understand my feet. I understand my life story a whole lot better by learning this modality. But so I was resistant in the beginning with taking the class. And then as I went through it and I started to learn that, you know, we are the, these energy beings and our stories are actually held more in our feet because that's what's touching the ground. That's how we're walking along in life. And it just makes sense that memories would get stuck and, you know, unresolved issues would show up. And, you know, some people, you know, I look at some people's feet and they're like, wow, they're so beautiful. Their toes are all straight and come to find out they really feel like they've been going their path their whole life. Wow. Yeah. I, I have, you know, my feet are a little bit, um, I have little knobs and stuff like that because I've, I haven't had a direct path to where I'm at. So it's been a little challenging, but the modality itself was so healing to me at that deep core soul level that I thought, you know, this really is something, this is something that people need to have. They, they need to have it available to them. And so I, I do include it in my coaching for That's people. That's wonderful. It, it feels like, like another avenue of understanding ourselves better by understanding our own feet. So, what is, what's a typical reading for you? How does that happen? Uh, well, there are no typical readings, so to speak, because everybody's energy, everybody's toes are different. But it starts out with, you know, we go through, like, I center myself, and I ask my client to center themselves. Um, it's often just people will close their eyes, take some deep breaths, because we want to be in that present moment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want to re you know, release the thoughts that are going on, little chatter going on, and just be in that present moment. And um, so then once we get there, and I, I will ask permission first, you know, oh, is it okay to look at your feet? Is it okay to touch your feet when I'm doing them in person? Mm -hmm. I also can do them online with people sending me a, um, a picture. And then mm -hmm. I usually can pick up on things almost instantly looking at that picture and then I take more time to to really be intuitive with it but when I'm with a client I will I will feel their feet sometimes there's a temperature difference between the two different feet oh. and you know generally means something going on in their you know within themselves you know maybe they're feeling a little out of out of alignment and, you know, or they're thinking of something from the past that's very much unresolved. And that will kind of show up as a temperature change in their, in their toes or in their feet. And even color change. Sometimes the nails will have uh, different colors. Um, sometimes they'll be broken or brittle nails. And that actually is they have um, a thought going on that is, um, it's not really attuned to who they are. 
but it's an old thought pattern that they need to learn to release. And so then what I, you know, once we're centered and everything, I will go through and, and I educate people on what each toe represents because each toe has a different representation as far as an element. The big toe is the element of ether and that's, that's our destiny toe. That's the one that, that um, we can look at and say, am I going, am I really walking my true path? Is it, you know, is it straight? Is it crooked? Is it looking backwards? Is it looking forward into the future? And there's, you know, just different things with that. Um, I guess I should back up because actually I do explain that the right foot is more about how you are presenting in the world, how yeah. other people see you. And the left foot is more about that internal dialogue, the, the thoughts that you have and um, not really that outward expression, but more that inward expression of yourself. And um, they can show up differently, you know, for people. And then I will go through the different toes, the different elements. And um, I, have the, I'm, I have notes because I didn't want to forget everything because I usually just get into my flow and just do it. But when I'm talking about it, I'm like, oh, wait, I better make sure I say this. Um, <laughs> well, you so can look at an actual big foot if you need to get you there. Huh? You can look at an actual foot if you need to get you there. <laughs> I have yours right in front of me. Oh, my God. I've never <laughs> taken a picture of just my feet before. <laughs> it's, it, it's amazing. I actually made a bunch of notes on the back of it, too, so that when I put your report together, everything will be there that I was picking up on. Um, and then the second toe is our air toe, and that's our communication toe. And that's kind of what is considered the vortex of truth, because that's how we're, we're speaking, we're communicating, we're um, addressing um, the message we want to send out to the world. And the, the left air toe, the left one is more representative of, like I talked about, that inner dialogue that we have. And the right one is about um, the communication and or the expression that we bring out into the world. So in, I know in mine in particular, and I can share this with you off of here, I didn't print a picture of mine. Um, my right one it looks much different than my left because I'm still mine. working through some of that internal dialogue that I grew up with that I'm you know, trying to, to work through. Oh, wow. So, and then the third toe is often, um, it's, it's, it's a fire toe. So it's a fire element. It's the action toe. It's the one we can look at and we can determine whether or not somebody is a person of action and they follow through or a person of, you know, saying they're going to do something and then they don't follow through. So it's either they're going to procrastinate or they're just going to say, I'm getting this done. And that shows up. And, and sometimes it's, it's so straight that it's almost like it, it almost looks like it's giving the world the finger. <laughs> so wow. it's like, it's like, I'll show you world. This is how I'm, how I'm showing up. And that's an amazing one. Um, I've seen mine change just in my actions of how I've, you know, gone through my transformation as far as coaching and the spirituality side of, of my life. And then the fourth toe is the relationship toe. And that is um, the left one is relationship with yourself, uh, with spirit. And the, the one on the right side is your relationship with others and with the world. And it's not, not always that intimate relationship because sometimes people think, well, relationship, it's me and you know, my husband or me and my significant other or you know, whatever. But it's your relationship with coworkers, your relationship with friends, your relationship with family, your rela and also your relationship with self as well, like how you're showing up and, and presenting that to the world. And then the little toes, the little pinky toes are actually the element of earth. And so they're, um, they're grounded, you know, kind of helping you to ground, helping you to trust, helping you to, to believe that you are worthy of, you know, receiving the good that's here for us to receive. And that's often, you know, a lot of times I'll see people with their little toes are kind of hiding under the relationship toe. So it's almost like they're, they're afraid to be seen. They're afraid of that trust. They don't, they don't believe it. And then, and, and this is, I'll get into yours because yours is so 
interesting. Oh, I gotta know. I gotta know. <laughs> I think it's gonna make a lot of sense to you with, you know, just how you are. I mean, it just, it really shows your true soul. And that's the thing I call it kind of flowing with your soul. Coaching. Oh, yeah, that makes because, sense. Because it helps people really begin to understand who they are at that deeper level. And that is what's missing in our world right now. Yeah. People are missing out on really being able to understand who they are. Yes. And toll readings can help someone get there, can actually help people release uh, memories and thoughts and things that they've been carrying around that they didn't know they were carrying around. Mm -hmm. And they so, have those repeating thoughts just going on in the background of their exactly, mind. And they're exactly. They're just not, just not even acknowledging that it's there. Exactly. But they know it's there. But they not. know it. But they, you know, it's something that could have happened when they were a child, and it's just something hanging on. And also with toll reading, what can happen is there can almost be like a familial, an ancestral type genetic thing that will show up if there's a pattern that's gone along over time in a family mm -hmm. so because because we're these these energy beings and our cells hold on to memories so you know as as each generation is born there's still that uh, you know those the cellular aspect of things and so sometimes you will see very similar aspects in people's toes if there's been is something that's taken place that has never resolved. And then um, there's an example actually that uh, Casey Miller, who wrote a book called Are You Walking Your Destined Path? And she teaches the toll reading class at a local school here that she started many years ago. Um, she talks about how she did a reading on, it was a, a daughter, a mother and a grandmother, and they all had something similar. And so it finally, when she got to the daughter, the daughter looked at her mother and grandmother and said, it's time that we let go of this. So it was something that had been taking place in the family throughout, throughout generations. And then that was a very healing session for them. And that's, that's where I like to get with people is get them to that point where they feel like they've healed something. And I always will have a box of tissue sitting there. They can use it if they want. I'm not going to hand them one, but if they, if their soul starts leaking out those memories, then yeah, yeah. go ahead, grab that tissue because that, that happens frequently with toe reading because it is so, it can be so intense and it's so personal. Too. Wow. I had no idea. That's just, yeah. wow. And in the United States, it's a newer, you know, kind of a newer modality that we're, we're seeing, but reading feet and reading toes has actually been around for probably 5,000 years. Um, oh, I would think. I've done some additional studying since I learned the modality because I want to, I just really want to understand why it can be so healing. And, you know, back in the, you know, the old Egyptian times, there's things that they've come across that show that they were doing readings of the feet and the toes. Um, in the, uh, you know, the ancient practices from China and India, they were, they do, they were doing toe reading and, and foot reading and they still are. And so it, it, it's something that helps, I guess, I, I don't know why they do it, if they do it to, you know, to understand the characteristics of somebody, and that's that's kind of what it does as well. You you really it, it really it changes your life when you have a toe reading. And then uh, I haven't seen it happen instantly, but as your thoughts change, your toes can change as well. Sometimes it's very subtle, and sometimes it's it's very dramatic. Wow! Can you do that on, on a new? Mine. I've watched mine over the years. It's like hmm, they look a little different. <laughs> wow. But, like can you do that for a baby for a yes. newborn yes and it gives you certain impressions yes wow and that's what i would love to be able to do that you know just kind of get into you know offering that as just a a unique little you know welcome to the world gift 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could totally understand their child. Um, It would help them know how to best communicate with their child. Um, I did one for uh, my niece's first daughter. And, um, you know, so it it helped her to know how to best um, be with her child, you know, and, and what to say, what not to say. Because um, what, what I find interesting, and, and you actually have this with your feet as well, when most of the time when children are born, they have a gap between their big toe and their communication toe. Mm-hmm. And that is like this vast you know, greatness that they know is out there. And over time, that, that tends to close up because we, we like to box people in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. You know, toe readings can help us unbox ourselves, I guess, unlock, you know, the, the greatness that we have. Definitely. Wow. Okay. So tell me a little <laughs> bit about my toes. A little bit about yours. Can I show it or no? Yes, yes, of course you okay. can. I wrote little notes. You won't be able to read them, but um, I just, this was so that I know when I do your little, your report. Oh, and by the way, what I do, I start out with this little thing. This is like a report that I start out with. This is all the educational stuff. Mm-hmm. And then this last page, I just have a little template that um, where all this red stuff starts. That's the template that I start using and putting in for the personalized information. But the first couple pages are information about toe reading. So, you know, because my part is I believe it's important to educate people about the you know what it can do why it's why it's done the way it is so i usually end up with when i do a report when someone sends me their toes their picture of their feet online is a report can end up being anywhere from six to ten pages long wow so i put it together in a in a little folder i have their picture of their toes um with that and the date that i that i received their picture because the readings are done, um, the stories that are held are there up until the date of a reading, but I do it based on when I get the picture. So if I don't get to a reading for like two days after, I know what date that came in. I know where they were at on that particular moment. Mm-hmm. On that date. And so I, I send that to them and that's theirs to keep you know, forever. And there's a lot of times there'll be some additional coaching questions in there, things that they can ask themselves you know, addressing the energy that I pick up from the, from the toll reading. And so it, it oftentimes will lend them to say, I want additional coaching sessions, or I think I need to do hypnotherapy. And so, and I know that you do hypnotherapy. So there you are part of the network that I can, you know, certainly address with them. And, you know, that's why it's so important to, you know, like you talked about having this co-creation. It's, you know, building our network and being able to refer people if, if what you do is going to be more beneficial than what I do as far as hypnotherapy. You know, I just do more like the relaxations and things like that. And you go into a much deeper level. So that's a whole different conversation that I might have to have with you. Yeah, I'm all right with that. <laughs> I, I, we'll, we'll switch the interview. <laughs> but so you sent me your, the picture of your toes. And I will tell you instantly. I picked up on you do have that gap between the big toes and we like to call I'm just going to show this if we can pick it up and I've got little notes but we know that as being a princess priestess or queen's toe and really that it's called that is is people who have the gap they're seekers of truth they're independent thinkers um, they may challenge authority a little bit and say hey you know, this is how I want it to be and what you're doing doesn't fit in my world um, your thoughts are you know you, you kind of challenge the conventional thoughts and you walk the direction you want to walk because it feels right to you mm-hmm. and I mean I picked up on that and also looking at on the right side Um, and they're expressive and they're, they're very straight. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, it almost looks like, you know, you've known for a long time what your path is, mm-hmm. but the, the big toes are kind of like that vastness of life possibilities when you have the, the gap in there. And that's why when babies are born, 
they usually will have that gap because they've just come down from the spirit world to this dense energy here on earth and they still believe there's this greatness and you know they have all this ability to you know everything to be wonderful and and i have a bunch of notes on the back that i've written <laughs> but with your um you know it just what i noticed and what i picked up on is with your your right toe here is to me from this picture it looks it's straight and it appears to be firmly planted on the ground so there's an optimistic feeling and a confidence about you and the success that you know that you have the ability to have here on earth and i think you already have it i i mean it feels like you do um and then on the left one the only thing i noticed on the left one is i can't see it I circled a spot right about here, and that was a, a past time in your life where it seemed like perhaps you may have stepped slightly off your course, or what you do was your course, or you had a belief that you weren't quite following it, and uh, maybe there was somebody who was influencing you, um, or that maybe you surrendered a little bit of your hopes or your desires to kind of go along with what someone else mm -hmm. was better for you in your life. And that, and the reason I saw that is it shows up like there's just a couple of little crease lines in there, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I don't know at what age that was, but that's something that on the left side, because that's kind of like that inner dialogue, that's something that's still there, you know, mm -hmm. kind of in the back of your mind might influence you a little bit, but um, all in all, I mean, when I looked at this, it's like, you are just so straight on things. Um, and it even looks, now the, what I looked at, we have the, and we'll just show them. So the big toes are the destiny toes. The second ones are the communication toes and they're pretty straight, they're pretty good. Um, is there a bluntness kind of when you communicate, are you pretty blunt? in how you <clears throat> communicate. I do what do I can to pick the words very carefully, actually, because different words mean different things to different people. So mm -hmm. I am aware, I guess you would say, that there can be a bluntness, but I do what I can to not be. <laughs> okay, and that's kind of what showed up because um, it was like there's, it felt like there was a bluntness, but that also you you have this heartfelt way of, of communicating so that it doesn't hurt someone's feelings. So you can you can be blunt in what you say, but you say it in such a, a heartfelt way that someone doesn't normally take it wrong. And that's exactly a note that I put on the back here. So that's interesting that you, you just you know validated that. Um, and the internal dialogue on that left side is. Um, what did I put here? It's, it's kind of like your, your self-talk or your communication with your higher self or your spirit self. And that to me, what I can tell looks very straight. It almost looks like it's lifted up off the ground. And I've noticed on the left side, some of your toes were actually lifting up off the ground, almost like, you know, raised up toward, toward spirit or your higher self. Mm -hmm. And that is, there's something inside of you that really trusts and believes that you are a spiritual being mm -hmm. and you are directed by a divine guidance mm -hmm. and it shows up as how you think internally and um you're kind of going with the flow of life it really shows up like you know you're flowing with it and it, it's working out the way that it feels comfortable to you and then the action toe what i noticed on the action toe is on the right one it looked like it there's it's maybe a little bit uh maybe extra energy yeah maybe. that one that one tingles actually okay because it can be what i picked up on with that is that you take action when you say you're going to take it sometimes you take on a little too much and it starts to almost overwhelm you, but you still do it because you promised and you said you would do it. Mm -hmm. So you're very action oriented, you know, you follow through, 
but sometimes you take on a little too much and you may have to make the boundary and say, I can't take on quite as much right now, but I'll do it, you know, at such and such a time. And yeah, that tingly feeling, it makes sense with what I saw there. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's as of late, it didn't always tingle, but over the last couple of weeks, I'm like, like it doesn't hurt. I'm just aware of my toes. There's a lot of like, energy I'm there. Aware. But, yep. Yep. You have a lot of energy there because you're taking, well, a couple of weeks ago is when you started taking a lot of action doing these videos. Yes. And mm -hmm. so you're taking on a lot. Um, I don't know that it necessarily feels overwhelming to you, but no. it could be that, you know, wow, I'm doing this. I'm finally doing this. Yeah. You know, you're really showing up and that's that's awesome because it, it does show up in your in your toes i think for <laughs> for just for myself speaking from to my experience i've always heard from spirit things that didn't make sense and they explained to me a long time ago you're going to be fine your life has to change you're going to be helping people but those definitive answers of how am i going to do that <laughs> and tell me, oh, you're gonna make videos, but I don't, I don't know. I, you know what I mean? Like right. there, there was no clear picture, and it just literally came to me a couple weeks ago, and it's just yeah. clear as anything. You had that download. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. you love when you get those downloads, and you're like, okay, now I know what to do with it. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Such yeah. purpose. Well, yeah. thank you so very much. Do you have anything else to say? Are you teaching this class at this point? I'm not teaching it. I actually, um, speaking of downloads, had a download like two days ago to create an online course, to create it as an online course. I think so I, I will myself be, taking it too. I will be working on it. Uh, just <laughs> it's that time factor. It's like I got to create that little extra time in my day to do it. Um, but yeah, because I believe it is, it's definitely a message that um, people want to hear. Um, I think they've, they've been waiting yes. for the teachers to show up. And there are several people who offer toe reading, not a lot of people that offer it as a, as a class, you okay. know, um, the school. So we can add you to that soon. And, yeah. and how, we can add you to that, to that list very soon. <laughs> yes, definitely. I'm definitely looking for the class. <laughs> I want to take it. Okay. So um, how can people reach you? I, well, I have a couple different websites, but for the toe reading, they can go out to my website, which is uh, www.talkingwithtoes.com. They can call me or text me. Um, the best number to use for that would be, let me see, I, have it, I don't give it out that much. It's just on my page. <laughs> That's sad. 623-252-6176. Uh, That's a, a text line. It's the one I use mainly for the business. I have a personal cell phone that I kind of keep personal and you, I think you've got that information but um, they can if they live in the Phoenix area then I can set something up in person to do toe reading a lot of the people I get are online they'll send me a picture of their toes of their feet similar to something like that so that I can Amazing. see them um, and then I will do a report like I said, it can be anywhere from six to 10 pages, depending upon the information that I receive, because I do this intuitively. So I'm really just the messenger. I'm going with, you know, what, what comes through. And sometimes it, I think, wow, this doesn't make any sense, but it'll make sense to the client. Yeah. So that, so that's how it all works with, you know, because it's, it's kind of a metaphysical and transformational process. Definitely. And about how much so does a session cost? Um, I charge, well, I charge a hundred, but I'm thinking maybe for people who are viewing this video, I may come up with a special price. So I'll pop that on my website. If I, um, you know, come up with a special pricing, maybe I'll do 50% off just to get people intrigued. And, um, you know, I'm willing to do that and share that information, you know. That would that be way. awesome. Yeah. Yes, you guys, sign up, sign up. Yeah, get your reading done. Yeah. Wanted to share on um, on the earth toe, the little toes. Okay. Because um, the when I took when I when you sent me this picture, first of all, you know when I saw that gap and everything, but then I went instantly to this right little toe, mm -hmm. and you can see how it's it's twisted. Outward. Yeah. And 
It's well, but that's not that's not a that's that's an okay thing. The way it's leaning and the way the nail is up is that is saying, I trust spirit to provide me with the prosperity and the abundance and all the good that I deserve here on earth. Oh wow. So very positive. Very positive. Wow. So, who, who knew my one crooked little very, child? Very expressive. Some... I I just I was amazed. I, well, you know, I wasn't amazed. I actually expected that I would see some of this, just having had conversations with you. Oh, wow. Okay, so we are out of time. Any general okay. messages out there for, for anybody who is seeking a toe reading? Any messages for them? Mm -hmm. um, just do it. You owe it to yourself um, to find out if you're walking your true path. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, Sue. Thank you very, very much. Thanks for having me.